Okay guys, you can tell, change of scenery here. We are at a different location, of course. New uh, place we are gonna be staying at for the time being, um, until we uh, possibly just may move out of the state. So we'll go and just get right to it, guys. What I'm gonna be doing today, we are gonna pull the motor back out, um, out of the Celica. I got the stuff that I need to get it going. Um, along with that, we'll at least finish the AN lines, get the uh, water pump um, mounted in this location, and also possibility we just may be having a oil filter relocation because we are also going to put the turbo on and uh, get that going here. And again, this is the turbo manifold that I made earlier in um, earlier videos. It is just goes to a dash, or I'm not a dash, 44 uh, millimeter wastegate of a tile. And again, it is four to one uh, T4 housing on the turbo side. So we just got to wait on some gaskets here. But again, we can just mock everything together here. I'm going to go and just get everything up on time lapse here so we can get the motor out, do what we need to do. So let's get to it, guys. Okay, you guys, so we just got that rivet certs in right here. You can see them both. I'm just trying to see how I would actually install the water pump. So I think I would install bolts here, put the pump on sideways, and then pivot it down, which then would get it to its location. So that's it um, with the engine out. Now it's just going to go right back in. I never pulled it out all the way. I just pre-fit, see how the turbo manifold sits. Uh, so far, it is pretty secure. Uh, kind of see how all the runners are. It is pretty close, though, like I mentioned, guys, to this oil filter. So I did get a um, oil filter relocator, but it has the wrong threading. So for now, I just may get a shorter oil filter just so I can run this setup for now. Um, let's keep the ball moving, guys. Put it back on time there. Okay, so turbo's back on again. Now we can figure out how to run the drain. Let's see it right here from the turbo. Kind of comes around the manifold and it's gonna end up right down there. So I gotta cut this just so we got the right length. Kind of that's the reason being why I kind of left it long so I could see where I need to cut. So that, and then I also do want to kind of wrap this little section here because it's so close to the manifold that I don't want it to melt. Uh, next step is to as well, let's get an exhaust on here. Kind of see where it's gonna go, where it's gonna lay, but you can see it's so close to the wastegate. So as it comes down, I probably gotta find a specific area. I'm thinking maybe about right in this vicinity where the downpipe's gonna lay. Um, and you could also see how close this piece of the wastegate. I can't clock it any further, which actually I'm going to probably do it this way. Probably about right there. So I could put a 90 on this and going out in that direction. Uh, this I could probably remove and clock so that at least this sensor is going to be down over here. So still a lot of things I got to do guys, but uh, let's see if I get a portion of the downpipe welded on. Back down on all fours. Put the front bumper back on. This stainless piece is what I'm going to try and use just to start off with the downpipe. Um, I got to cut this thing up. Again, the other headers I made off the S2000 with a Tomei 
um, cat delete or um, test pipe. I got uh, the other piping right here so I could start uh, fabricating and redoing the intake side so I kind of figure out how I want to get the uh, turbo side charge pipes all done. <laughs> but so far we are going to need to wait for a second day just because uh, it is getting kind of late. I did start uh, pretty late today um, on the bit or not on the build, but at least taking the motor back out, but it didn't take me too long. But again, I need to uh, still take care of the dog, Nala, who's also here. I'm going to go run her around the block. So I am going to, well, it's going to be very quickly, just like the move. So next day, I'll be wearing something different. Okay, guys, day two. Let's go ahead and start chopping up this steel, tacking it up all together. Sorry, that was kind of a bad angle, guys. I didn't realize it was actually aiming down. Uh, but again, we got the pipes cut here. This was the uh, straight piece that uh, came off. Again, this is all stainless. Got my 90 here. And I get the, got the piece of the flex pipe. So let's see what how this is going to actually fit onto this silica here. So let's see here. So I'm thinking more like this. Kind of at an angle from here. Have it 90. Oof. So probably like this here. So I got to probably take a measurement from the turbo to probably where this pipe is and uh, get that cut here. Measured and cut. So I got it all, I can't say all, I got it tacked together here. Um, started welding it. Kind of see the welds. I'm getting a lot better than now that it's in welding. We got a beautiful color though. I didn't back purge. I don't have that set up here, but I still need to finish the welds all the way around. Still need to finish the welds up here. And along with that, I still need to put another cup of here. And I'll show you the reason being why I want to do that. So let's put this thing back on the car. Okay, so reason being why I want to put another coupler on there is that I could actually clock it in whichever direction I would like. So if I want to actually have it come out of the fenders, which I really like to do it if I go out to the track. Um, just would have to cut a hole out here um, and a hole out the fender. But for now, it is going to be a daily. So... Um, we're just gonna have it come straight back down out of the bottom. So you can see I kind of clock it there. It kind of holds its position. And um, the bung is still out of its way. So even when I clock it in towards the fender, it's still out of the way. So I kind of wanted to position that right. Uh, next up I do want to do is uh, I need to get some V-bands also welded here um, on the charge side. And I'm going to have the pipes, of course, coming over this way. Probably may make two different systems here. One air to air and one water to air, just like the CRX. I'm going to go and cut this section back, put another V-band onto this. Which I also do have a 90. Already kind of pre... 
sets here and I'm going to cut this back so it at least fit rather than hitting the radiator off camera on the radiator I did get the um, AN16 fitting on there got the water pump mounted already got some AN fittings on that one kind of see how I want to do the direction of how I want to get the other hoses in and this one here I still need to put a 16 bung onto that one so So the next one guys, I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping back in. Uh, I am going to go ahead and end the video from here and again this is a new location where I am going to do this, uh, continue with the progress with both cars here. Again I still got parts coming in for this one as well as the Celica but on top of that with the coronavirus I did get uh, postponed from the job for at least two weeks so no funds coming in but uh, we will try and do what we can together to figure out as much of what we could do here on the builds and with what material i have left we'll continue trying to see if we can move forward here but again to the next one guys catch you guys on the next one